Welcome back, Moonshine Formers. Uh, we got this uh, 400 511 block. Could be a four bolt, I don't know. Uh, we found it in the corner of a state cell. We bought the whole corner of the guy's garage for like 400 bucks. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna check oil pressure on this thing, see if it's got any oil pressure, because if it don't have any oil pressure, no sense in even doing anything else to it. Yeah, I got the Chinese distributor in there. It's good for something. We ended up cutting the hole off, welding the drill in thing on there. The thing does have oil pressure. Good oil pressure. The drills are smoking. Next thing I would do is compression check, but we got one broken head bolt here. And that's broken off. That's been ground on us. Gasket surface looks horrible. We got all kinds of small block Chevy. I got a real, really, really nice set that came from a low mile crate motor that, uh, or a GM good wrench motor that I can throw on these. They're really nice, a really nice set I can throw on this. These small block Chevy heads for your parts are just everywhere. With that being said, uh, since we got to pull the head off anyway, no sense in trying to put a starter on this, cranking it over, et cetera, et cetera, to check compression on. We might as well just pull the heads off and see what the cylinders look like. That'll give us an idea if it's got compression or not. Okay, I got the heads off. Everything looks good. Really not. We're gonna go ahead and uh, dial bore these cylinders, check it out. They, they, visually, they all look good. Uh, one thing I, I can't stand is a dirty motor. I'm gonna get some diesel fuel and scrub down the inside, all, all over the inside of here. Then let it all fall down in the tank, and then, or I'm sorry, the we'll let it all fall down to the and try to flush it real good with diesel fuel and wash it all down to the bottom uh, in the oil pan, and then we'll. Uh, change that budget oil out of there and change the filter and put a new filter on it and try to flush everything, every dirty, cruddy thing out of this motor we can possibly can. Looks like we got three and a half, two and a half, three at the bottom. Those get large at the top. We're four and a half, four thousandths at the top. This engine probably has half its life left in it. Be nice for a budget build, I would say. Cylinder heads are selling from the machine shop. Uh, 400, 400 blocks have what they call a Siamese bore. That means there's no water jack running between the cylinder here. There's a, to fix that, this, this is a 400 gas, but it don't have the head bolt hole in there it's plugged off but anyway they have a little hole drill, drilled dr sorry drilled here in the, in the gasket it's at an angle we don't have the kind of tools to do that we end up messing up a set of heads everything looks to be in good condition we're going to we would fire it up on this thing but if this is being hogged up right now on our test stand <clears throat> so we're going to make do we got some skates down here i'm going to throw those on it lift her up i got to change out to the distributor uh and we're going to fire this thing up this distributor out which I've already got the four hold downs you know loosened up um, and I've got the actual distributor loosened up as well so I gotta take all these plug wires off and I can pull the cap and then make sure nothing's gonna fall down in there I can go ahead and Yank the dizzy retributor. And it's still in the cylinder one position, so when this sets in there, the rotor is pointing at cylinder one because it hasn't been cranked over since the timing was set. So I should be able to just slip this one on down in there. 
in the same location, and it should be ballpark uh, close to probably 20 degrees of timing. That's probably where he had it set the first time. But I gotta pop this cap off and throw it in. Here's the rotor here. I'm gonna make sure this vacuum and vance uh, valve here, whatever you call it, where the hose goes. I'm gonna make sure that's kind of pointed towards the right side. And we're gonna go ahead and drop her on in there, make sure you got a gasket. Yeah, we're just gonna get this motor. Wow, look at that. First try already, right in line. Tire up, you're good. What we're doing here is basically creating a, a you know, an offspring of this test stand. We're gonna use this test stand's uh, fuel system. So we're gonna use that, that pump right there. Just take that hose off, feed this carburetor, and then we're going to take that starter off and it'll have enough wire to stretch around and uh, use here. So basically you'll be operating with these switches here uh, and your fuel pump switch here. You'll be operating this motor. We're just gonna fill it with water and plug it off. Uh, that way it doesn't doesn't overheat or doesn't crack or get too hot or anything like that. So, all right, we got the distributor in here, got all the plug wires run. Uh, we got it filled with water. As you can see, there's water all over the floor. So that was a success. Everything's pretty well zip tied up out of the way. We got a balancer bolt in there. You got that tight, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to do. Flywheel. Oh yeah, we got to change the flywheel here, and that should be the last thing. <coughs> so. Uh, we should be good to go here. We got, here's beer power coming in. Yeah, beer cans, the header covers everywhere. Uh, we got a timing light hooked up to it. We got, I think we're good here. Now this is all temporary, so don't be judging our wire mess. And I know this looks dangerous, but we are dangerous. pretend like you didn't see it. <laughs> we are dangerous. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna hold the timing light here. Uh, he flipped the carburetor around. Oh, we gotta hook up all these other jumper cables. And... Yeah, we gotta do some do some finesse in here to kind of get this thing power. We're gonna try her out. Well, if you yourself think that you have seen some redneck stuff, I think we've got you beat here. <laughs> we got wires going everywhere. We got a test stand running off of a test stand. We got a, a truck stuck up in here. The bird, ain't no, ain't no, other truck. no, it's the bird, the tow rig, uh, cause our battery's dead and we don't really want to wait for it to charge. So the battery charger's unplugged. We got everything jumper cables going that way and timing timing lights off of this battery and we got we still have the switch over there on the test stand this thing needs a timing chain <laughs> real bad if you can hear that clicking well let's see what happens We got the timing set in here. We've had this thing fired, but we're just gonna fire it up for the video here. Uh, she ran pretty well. We got good oil pressure. Uh, by the way, that's a transmission gauge, transmission pressure gauge. That's why it goes up to 400 pounds. Timing's good to go. Uh, I'm gonna crack it a couple times. There she be. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.